Jesus Christ, it's cold. This is just nuts. Good Monday morning. So lately you've been seeing uh, a couple of these live mob programming videos uh, plopping up on the uh, channel. And uh, the reason why you're seeing that is because it's the new format that we are going to be pushing for Fun Fun Function uh, in the coming year. Uh, and I would like to talk about why that is and our reasoning behind it. This episode is sponsored by Securi. Securi is a complete security platform that protects your website from hackers and alerts you if it finds security issues. With website monitoring, web application firewall, and backups, you can have peace of mind that your websites are safe. If a site is hacked, Securi has a team of experienced analysts available 24 seven to clean it up quickly, so you don't have to. The monitoring dashboard lets you see any security warnings or if your site has been blacklisted. You can also monitor changes to uptime, DNS records, or SSL certificates. The Security Firewall blocks vulnerability exploitation and DDoS attacks. It also includes a CDN that will boost your website speed by 70% or more. You can think of Security as an extension of your team and rely on them to protect your reputation and visitors. Chat with them today for a demo or free trial. Use the discount code to get 15% off. We are here in Stockholm, David is behind the camera and it's uh, minus four degrees or something like that. It's so uh, cold. The last year I've been having a little bit of uh, creative crises, to be honest. Uh, it's, hello car. It's, I've been having like thoughts about what is Fun Fun Function about and what is, uh, what, 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 are you, what are we doing with our lives? Uh, is, and I've been, uh, posed this question a lot of times to the audience, what is Fun Fun Function to you? And, um, I get a lot of different answers. Uh, some of the people uh, watching really appreciate uh, the, uh, the, the making complex things seem simple uh, that, that uh, I seem to have a certain knack for. Uh, a lot of people like that it's, it's funny, that it's creative, like it makes you a bit of exciting. Like a lot of people like that we touch the more softer aspects of programming and like this, it's a little bit all over the place. But what I've but I, w I wanted to identify was what is missing in the industry? Like what is missing in the, the content being produced? And among that group of things, what are the things that we are uniquely qualified to bring to the table? And uh, that is what, like that is the reasoning why we, we ended up with failing together, which is the new live mob programming under unideal conditions format that we are roll, like starting to roll out during 2019. So I would like to talk about the tutorial a little bit, like the tutorial format. Uh, so I started out with uh, tutorials when I, when I was a programmer. I, uh, I believe that the first tutorial series that I, I watched was Rails Casts. Like it was a, this amazing little uh, bytes of information where that explained a very clean little simple concept and that was how I learned Rails and to a large degree like how I learned, uh, learned programming uh, and they, they were great like I, I don't want to I don't want to put the tutorial down it has some amazing aspects to it however one thing with tutorials that always struck me is that once I've watched one of them or like watch a series of them like this is followed like a book and this is how you make a web app is that you you're left with this feeling of okay but but what now and the reason why you're left with that feeling is that the tutorial as a format doesn't really teach you how to solve problems it just shows you like this very paved neat Path. It gives you the impression that programming is this like series of assembly instructions that you can follow. 
uh, which couldn't be further from the truth. So the tutorial uh, gives you the impression that programming is elegant and technical. And I think that all programmers have felt this once they actually started working as a programmer that, hey, this is neither elegant or technical. This is actually very messy and very social. The art of programming, well not the art of programming, but the, the, the work of being a software developer is very much making sense of this chaotic universe that we're in. The universe is just a mess. Uh, I've, I often talk about this concept called limnic eruption, which is uh, when there's a carbon dioxide pocket in the bottom of a lake that is amassed in hundreds of years and then it just suddenly bubbles up to the surface and pu pushes out all oxygen in a uh, few square kilometer radius, which basically uh, kills everything that is dependent on oxygen uh, in that area. And, and I love that, that love telling that story because it so poignantly shows how little the universe owes you. Like the universe, the universe is not evil, it just doesn't care. So whenever something works, whenever like you have import a library and it just like, oh this just works, that is because somebody made it work. And that is what being a human, being a tool maker, being a developer is, is all about. Like making like elegance out of the mess and you are the person making that elegant as a software developer. And so that's the, the elegant messy part. Uh, and then there is the technical social part. I, I, I'm firmly of the opinion that uh, coding is a very small part of being social, like being a software developer. In many years ago, uh, the, the lone wolf developer was, a, was much more like a, an ideal much closer to what it was to be a software developer. I don't know if you watched the movie, uh, uh, what's it called, the Alan Turing movie? Uh, and it, where with Benedict Cumberbatch, and it uh, shows like this person that has very hard, has very hard time working with others, and he's like this, this immense genius, and he figures out how to solve the, uh, uh, solve, like crack the Enigma machine, the encryption device that, um, like Germans used to send send encrypted messages, and I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to put down that achievement. That is a massive achievement, but that is not how software development works today. Uh, today, software development is hundreds of developers interacting uh, in some cases, and that means that the the overlap between developers is actually where you're going to spend most of your time. It's so important for you to be good at code review. It's so important for you to write uh, readable code and not readable to you, readable to others. Uh, and uh, writing good documentation, making sure that onboarding is, is good because you're going to have a lot of developers coming in. Uh, and talking to product owners to make sure that they make decisions that are not um, like extremely expensive for them. And that kind of stuff, like it's just tons and tons of tons. And one thing that we're going to be pushing in Fun From Function uh, and probably DevTips too during 2019 is the, the notion that software development is fundamentally a communication skill. Just to get back to the format then. Uh, so we have software development that is a craft that is messy and it is social. So what does that mean for, for what, what kind of format can we create for that? Well, we want a format that is focused on failing um, and failing and growing out of failure. And we want to create a format that is also uh, that we do together with other people to focus on the social aspects of, of, uh, of programming. And that is why we uh, ended up on making a format that was live for mob programming because we want to do it together with you uh, and like me and David like we find it really fun when we can do things together and I've also tried doing things with guests uh, which has been very very successful and we want to do that more uh, and then we also want the format to have a lot of failure in it we want to 
uh, things to go constantly wrong. Uh, because that is what software development essentially is. It's just like running into wrongness, running into failure. And then we figure out how to solve that and uh, how, to, um, how to grow from that. So, so growing from failure and, and showing that, hey, uh, you're okay even if things don't go smoothly. It's just like tutorials and neat little software development talks that make it seem like software development is this craft where everything goes right all the time, which is not. It just goes wrong 95% of the time. And we learn from that and grow from that. Uh, and then we want to focus on the togetherness where we interact with you people live on stream, where you help us out. Uh, we figure things out together. Uh, and just through this combination of failing together, we craft something that did not exist before and that is what the the failing together format is is trying to do it's trying to teach you how to grow from failure together with other software developers that is what we're trying to teach you Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. <laughs> very natural, very so much natural. In order to do this, uh, we need to constantly have these unideal conditions for the, the episodes. Uh, so a core tenet of the failing together format is that one person is a navigator and one person is a, is a driver, uh, just like in, in traditional pair programming. But the, the tricky thing like we, that we introduce is that the navigator knows a little bit about the subject. Not necessarily a lot, but more than the driver who doesn't know anything. The driver has, is basically flying blind. Um, and the, the, the navigator is there to help them, nudge them along in the way, but not, not completely guide them. Uh, and this is core to the format because we want to show that none of us have, has any idea what they're doing. That is the definition of being a developer. Um, because if you know what to do, if, if there is a set of ins assembly instructions and there is a right solution, then the thing doesn't need to be, de to be developed. Then it probably already is a complete piece of software or a library that you can import. So per definition, being a developer means like, we have no idea. We are faced with these problems that well, we know it's a problem, we have, we know what, what needs to be fixed, but ostensibly we have no idea how. And that's, that's, that's so important to convey and be okay with it as, as a developer. And that's the, the first part of what failing together is about, like the growing through failure and being okay with failure. And, accepting failure as being alive, being a developer. The Failing Together format is going to be completely live recorded. Uh, it's basically like a game show. It's being recorded live on tape uh, on Twitch. You can find, that, uh, find it live at twitch.tv slash fun fun function. Um, please follow us there. Um, and uh, then we're going to release episodes in, uh, in edited form, lightly edited form, uh, on, on YouTube after the fact. And I want to make clear that this is a very new thing for us. Uh, this is, uh, there's going to be lots of kinks to be worked out in this format before we can really nail it and make it really good. Uh, live streaming is new to us, making things in the moment is new to us. Uh, this, having this long format is tricky and it's, it's new to us. Uh, so while we're getting that in place, we, we ask for your, partly for your patience, of course, but also your feedback and your, uh, your, your support in making this work. Like uh, if there is something that you see that you think that we could do better or like an idea of how to, wow, this would, could really make a difference, like please, please give us that feedback and, uh, and we will incorporate it because we really want to make this into something that you like 
fundamentally this is something that we do for the audience and we want to make this into your show something that is awesome for you so i hope that you'll join us on this journey on uh, on twitch.tv slash fun fun function uh, or just watch on youtube if you prefer the uh, edited uh, versions after the fact i am mpj and until i see you on the live stream stay curious